Hello, this is Nick Van Loon from Fair State University, and today I will be showing you how to download V-Ray materials off the internet and apply them to a object in your scene, such as a sphere. So, what we're going to do is, first off, go to the internet. It's the first step to downloading materials off the internet. You are then going to go type in V-Ray materials. And you'll see this website, vray-materials.de. You click on it. And this website well, has tons of materials. Like, tons. There's so many. There's blood, sofa, wood fence, like, tarmac. You can type in paint, and you'll have 10 pages of just different kinds of paint. You can go by the rating, and you can see there's like this really cool chameleon paint. You know, there's tons of materials. <laughs> if you need it, they probably have it. But what we're going to do today is we're going to download this one because it's a lot more complicated. And I want to show you guys how to do the more complicated ones since most tutorials usually show you how to do the most basic thing. And this will cover the basics as well. So what you're going to have to do, when you first log into this website, like right here, it's going to say log in. Uh, just go ahead and make a profile. It's free. I mean, it does not cost anything whatsoever. You just give them your, you know, information, and you're good to go. No money. I've never gotten an email from them or anything. But once you do, you're going to click on download, and that's going to download to wherever you know your stuff goes to. Uh, mine goes to my download folder. I already have it in here. Just go ahead and extract it. And once you have it extracted, you can go over to it and you can see everything you're going to need is inside that extracted folder. So we are then going to go to our scene. I already have my object in my scene. I'm going to then click on materials and I already have it here because I recorded a video once but it didn't work correctly. Um, go to a new material, make sure you of course have V-Ray selected because this will not work if you don't have V-Ray selected. You're going to click on a new material, go to get material. You are then going to click on this little arrow in the top left corner, click on open material library. And you are then going to go to wherever that's saved at. So wherever it's at, you go there and you open it. You just double click on it. And when you do that, this will pop up. And you will see this does not look like the material downloaded. You know what in the world is going on why does my material not look like the one downloaded because you have to go in you have to add all the bitmaps and this is what I'm going to show you how to do so you'll see you have these three different things usually when you get you know a material off of there it's just going to be a basic VRAM material just like this but I want to show you a more complicated one so in here you see your first one is wood and now you notice it's very similar to this. So you come in here and you see there is bitmaps applied to these. So I'm gonna come down to my maps and in the diffuse section I have wood diffuse.jpg. I'm gonna click on that, go to my bitmap, open bitmap, and you're gonna go to your folder that your stuff's in. You see wood diffuse right there. So you're gonna open that. So that applies it to the material that we are working on. Uh, next, you'll see fall off. It doesn't say there's a JPEG attached to it, but you still want to click on it. You want to check all these little crevices and make sure you, know, you go over them all. And I got wood bump on there. So I'm going to do the same thing. Click on that. Go to bitmap. And I'm going to go to bump. Go back to parent. Do that twice. I now see wood specular. Bitmap. Bitmap. Wood specular. And you're going to do these, do this for each one of the little sections in your maps. So I now have all those set up. Uh, next, I see material 2, gold. I already know that gold doesn't have any maps attached to it. But I wanted to show you guys anyways, just to make sure you know to check over all these and that you don't miss anything. Uh, next, I got my mask. And the mask is literally just a JPEG. So I got a JPEG, bitmap, and it is this. 
and that is what gives you this cool little design around it. So I have my material, it's all there. I'm going to apply it to my sphere. And you don't see anything because my sphere is not unwrapped. So I'm going to go up here and do UVW map. Since it's a sphere, I can just do that. Take real world setting, real world settings off since that's how mine's set up. And there it is. So it's not showing up like you can't see it. I mean, you can, you know, do that like you would, but you know, once you render it, you'll see. So I have my material attached. It's unwrapped. I'm gonna hit render. As you see, my render, you know, it's there's the material that like gets there, but it's not what we wanted. It doesn't look like this. It doesn't stick up like that. And this is why I'm making this video because this website doesn't tell you how to do that stuff. It just downloads it and they don't tell you how to actually apply it. So now what I'm going to show you is how to create that bump. So I'm going to X out of this. There is a mod called V-Ray Displacement Mod. And you're going to apply that to your object. So I'm going to go back to here and what I know is that this little you know part that's sticking up is the ornament and I know that I just you know common sense by looking at it that's what's causing it to stick up so I have my ornament here I have my displacement mod I'm going to take the ornament and drag it over to the text map as a instance and if I render this you will see in a second that is going to create that nice bump that we were looking for. And now the material looks much more like the one online. Minus the lighting and stuff. I just threw this together really quick just to show you how to do this video. And you know, you have these nice spots sticking up and everything. Now something else, uh I'm not gonna go over it too much, but I'll kinda explain it to you a little bit. In VA displacement mod. Um, there's a few. There's two things you really want to watch out for. The amount. The amount is how far it's going to stick up. So if I made this five, it would stick like way up here. It would look really goofy. Uh, but I keep it at 0.5, and the edge length. The lower the number, the better the quality, but the longer it's going to take to render. Its default is four, but it gives you kind of like edgy, you know, janky looking edges. So I usually keep it at one. But if you're gonna get like super close in detail, you're gonna to wanna to drop that. But that's it for uh, this video that goes over how to create you know, a material, uh, download it from the internet. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the video and I will you know, respond uh, as quickly as I humanly can. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. That's how to download V-Ray material from the internet and apply it to a object in your scene.